Hey, Fred from the Laptop Barn here. To, in today's video, we're going to show you how to change the battery on a Dell Precision 3541 laptop. The Dell Precision 3541 has a couple of options of batteries um, that you can use. Here I am showing uh, the 68 watt hour type 3HWPP. There also is an optional larger battery, a 1FXDH, and a little later in the video we'll show you both of those. That 1FXDH is a 97 watt hour. On eBay is where I usually buy these. You can get uh, them for $30 for the 68 watt hour and about double that, $60 for a 97 watt hour, just depending on how much battery life you want. Uh, these are a, ser a lot of the newer laptops have these thin batteries which have a life of about three years and then they will typically not necessarily fail and say bad what they do is they'll mushroom and start pushing up on the keyboard or pushing down on the lower case of the laptop so we're going to show you here in today's video how to change that the only tools you'll need is a screwdriver we use a number one phillips and a pry tool can help. Um, you can use your finger, but we use that little pry tool as you can see in the picture there. Okay, to get started on this uh, Dell Precision 3541, the battery is located in the bottom panel, so the first step is to turn the laptop over. We're going to need to disassemble the bottom cover. There are eight Phillips screws around the perimeter and one in the center. So the process to get inside is simply undo those eight screws. Typically they're on a captured washer so they won't fall out and make you have to go looking for them. You just loosen them up and they'll stay adhered to the uh, lower case. So you um, undo the screws And then um, the next step is going to be to pry that bottom cover off. And like I said, we use a pry tool to get it started. Usually start in one of the corners. It's got little plastic tabs that are snap it into place. So just lift up gently. Don't break anything. But if you start your working your tool around or you can use your finger, um, work it around the perimeter of the... Um, of the case, you'll then get in a position where you'll be able to pry that bottom piece right off and then it comes off just like that. Okay, now this design allows you to have two different batteries. There's the long type 1FXDH, which was in this one that uh, we're gonna take out. It's held in by two screws uh, and the cable. The electrical cable just pops off. You can get your, just pull up there. You have a little assist loop on it there. You pull it up and that's all there is to it. You get that battery out. You can reuse that cable because probably the new battery you buy, in this case, now there's the, how the shorter one fits in. You see, it just doesn't take up the whole cavity. Either one works. One just has more battery life. We're going to put the longer one back in. And again, you could reuse that cable because chances are the cable's fine. If the battery that you purchased does not have a cable, just take the one off of the cable you're replacing, put it in. That's as simple as that. The connector pushes on place, and you reassemble the two screws. That's the whole assembly process. And then you put the cover back on. Now, for demonstration purposes here, I'm putting the cover back on just to show you that it snaps into place, and you screw the eight screws back on. You might want to power the laptop up uh, prior to putting the bottom cover on just to verify that your battery's good and everything works. That way you wouldn't have to totally retake everything apart. But that's pretty much it. Assemble the screws and you just replace the battery. Um, thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel. And that's it. Fred from the Laptop Barn, over and out.